Now at five, this striking image grabbed the attention of Americans. It left millions speechless and enraged. A rioter parading around the Capitol building with a Confederate flag in hand. The photo of the man went viral around the world, and he's from right here in Delaware. Tonight, he's in custody. Thursday night, the big story on Action News is the arrest of this rioter and his son, who were both involved in the Capitol Hill chaos. The two appeared in a Delaware courtroom this afternoon. And Action News reporter Katie Capture was live in Wilmington tonight with more on the hearing that ended just moments ago. Katie. Yeah, Rick and Charlie were here outside of the federal courthouse in Wilmington. This is where that father and son turned themselves in this morning. They had hearings here later this afternoon. And then minutes ago, we filmed them as they walked out of their hearings. They were both trying to cover their faces as they walked out of court. They didn't answer any of our questions as to why they were at the Capitol when they did not have access inside the building. And then at one point, they even pushed our cameras as they crossed the street. But I want to show you this picture. You've probably seen it many times before. This man carrying the Confederate flag inside the Capitol building on January 6th has been identified by authorities as Kevin Seafried from Delaware. Kevin told authorities he brought the Confederate flag from his home in Delaware, where it's usually displayed outside. His son was also at the Capitol that day. We have video of him smashing this window. This is from video that's posted to Twitter. It shows his son Hunter punching a glass window in the Capitol complex before both father and son entered through. Once they were inside, they were part of a larger group of people verbally confronting several U.S. Capitol officers for about 15 minutes. Authorities say Hunter took a selfie inside and at no time did either father or son have authorization into the U.S. Capitol building. So after all those events occurred, court documents reveal that Hunter was bragging to a co-worker about how he stormed the Capitol with his father, and that co-worker then told authorities. So back out here live, both father and son have a hearing in D.C. scheduled for January 25th. And then after multiple proceedings, both could be indicted on multiple federal crimes and they could serve years in prison. I'm reporting live here in Wilmington, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Action News. Back to you.